Hi everybody, welcome back to the What Now workshop. Uh, today I'm going to be building a shoe shelf for my wife's closet. Uh, I've got some repurposed wood that I've got laying around that a uh, homeowner gave me and my wife has expressed that she would like another shoe shelf built. So that is what I'm going to be doing today. Okay, so I've got some extra shelving that was given to me by a homeowner that didn't want um, the shelving that came with their house in their closets. They wanted to do something different, probably a custom job. Uh, and he gave all this to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to repurpose this and make another shoe shelf for my wife. Uh, I've done this many times. Again, if you go to Home Depot or if you would like to make a shoe shelf of your own, go to Home Depot and buy these shelving pieces. You can get them in uh, 12 inch pieces, uh, 18 inch pieces, two foot pieces. You can do lots of different things with this. But since this guy had given me all this extra material, I thought I would put it to good use. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So I've got my two pieces cut, the two ends, and I've got them marked where I want my shelves to go. So now all I have to do is nail my two shelves, which those are gonna be my two shelves right there. And we'll get this thing put together. And now we have a shoe shelf. So as you can see, I've got it all put together. It's pretty simple, just two end pieces, two shelves. Now I'm going to uh, caulk up the edges, make everything look nice and neat, paint it, install it, and we're done. Okay, so I've painted our shoe shelf, and also what I've done is I've notched out this little area on both ends because this is not gonna be mounted to the wall, and I wanted to leave enough room for the baseboard that's in the closet so this can sit actually tight to the wall but yet be moved around if need be. So here is our freestanding shoe shelf from a top view. Again, it's only six pieces of wood. Uh, didn't take very long to put together, obviously. I already had the wood, make a couple of cuts, nail it together, paint it, and it's done. Relatively easy project. So here is what it looks like. From the face view, again, I have a couple pieces of wood to stabilize the shelves because they're a little bit longer than what I would normally use. But there you go. This is our finished product. Now we just have to install it. Okay, so our shelf is finished and installed. I would like to show you the finished product, but my wife would probably kill me. So just know that uh, most of the time spent on this project was removing the old caulking that was attached to the shelves and pulling the nails. Uh, otherwise, it's pretty simple to build. Go to Home Depot, get the material. As long as you have the tools to make cuts, nail it together, it literally only takes a few minutes. So, thank you for watching my channel, Lamp Post Builds. And as always, see you next time. In the What Now Workshop.